The president still enjoys broad support among his base, and we've been contacted by one of them who was very insistent about getting the message out. He joins us on the line now, and I've been told he wishes to remain anonymous. Hi there, Sam. Thanks for having me. I've heard tremendous things about your network. Tremendous things. Some people say you're fake news, but not me. Not me, Sam. You're having me on and you're letting me talk, and that's fantastic. Just fantastic. This is a smart move for you, I'm telling you. Wow, okay. You, um, you sound a little familiar, I've got to say. I get that a lot. People tell me all the time. I know that voice. It's a great voice. Probably the best voice you've ever heard. And I'm telling you, lots of people have this voice. This way of speaking, it's very common. Not weird at all. The most common. But people tell me. They do tell me that. And I hear them with my ears. And my mouth always says, that's okay. That's okay that you said that. The line's not crystal clear, but you sound a lot like Trump himself. Well, I'm not Donald Trump, Sam. Donald Trump is the President of the United States. I'm a regular Joe from America. Probably the most regular Joe you've ever met. My name is John... Um... McDonald's. I thought you wanted to remain anonymous. Don't talk to me like that, Sam. Don't you ever talk to me like that. I'm not an ominous. I'm 200 pounds and I'm in tremendous shape. The best shape. Probably the best shape that any president, any regular Joe has ever been in. And that's the truth, Sam. OK, look, I think we're in danger of going off track here. Let's just stick with what happened last week at the Capitol. Now, you claim you were there to hear Trump speak. That's right. I was there, and what he said, what he said was beautiful, just beautiful. Even though there's been tremendous fraud, and we know it was tremendous, what the president said was perfect. He didn't call for a riot, Sam. Did you hear him call for a riot? Because I never heard him say riot once, and I was there. But a riot was the result, and he told the crowd over and over that the election was stolen, and they had to, and this is a direct quote, Fight like hell, or they're not going to have a country anymore. But he didn't say riot. Yeah, that's not necessarily how it works, though, is it? And what about Rudy Giuliani, then? Trump shared a stage with him and praised him repeatedly on the day, and he just heard him call for a trial by combat. That's pretty far out of the realm of legal recourse in terms of disputing the election result, isn't it? Unless you're in fucking Westeros. I don't know what that means, but I do know that Trump didn't say it. So maybe Rudy needs to go to jail. Rudy's a great guy, but if he started the riot, maybe Rudy needs to go to jail. And then maybe Trump can pardon him. Who knows? But it's a fraud stamp. A sham election. No president has ever been treated this badly. And I think what the radical left Democrats are doing now with this impeachment, I think it's a crime. And I think it's very bad and very divisive for our country. And I think the radical left, with Antifa and Big Tech and the fake news media, I think what they've done is the worst and most corrupt thing that's ever been done to any president. And I think people see that. People see that, and they're angry, and they want to do something. And they have to do something. And you don't get anywhere by being weak. You have to be strong. You have to be strong, and you have to do something, or you're going to lose your country. You have to fight for it. But also, no violence. This is a lot of rhetoric, John, but none of it is actually borne out by the facts. The Trump campaign says there's evidence of fraud, but they haven't produced any of it in court. Oh, they have the proof, Sam. They have it. But the courts, the courts, they didn't want to know. And I think that's the worst decision. The weakest decision. Dismissing a case for lack of evidence, or because it just doesn't meet the basic burden of proof, isn't the same as not wanting to know. If the Trump campaign had credible evidence of widespread fraud, it would have produced it. The best they could manage were some flimsy affidavits with very little to corroborate any of it. There's just no case here, John. Then explain this to me, Sam. Explain to me, and to your millions of listeners, explain to me how a man who gets hundreds of thousands of people, people everywhere, as far as you can see, to come and see him at his rallies, explain to me how that guy loses to sleepy Joe Biden who barely campaigned at all. Right, you do realise that most people don't attend political rallies, right? Most people just hold their nose and vote for the guy they think is the least shitty option. 
And Biden didn't hold enormous rallies because he was at least pretending to take the pandemic seriously. A pandemic that's killed nearly 400,000 Americans at this point, by the way. I know. Tremendous numbers. The best numbers. And if you look at the numbers, in the long run, fewer people will die. Because you can't die twice. And I think people are going to thank President Trump for that. And if they don't, it'll be because big tech have taken away their free speech and given it to Antifa. And you should know that. And your millions of listeners should know that too. Right, that's the second time you've said that, John, and I just feel like I should point out that you're perhaps drastically overestimating this show's reach. Oh, so what are we talking here exactly? You got your ratings right? So we're not talking tens of millions? Fifteen? Fourteen million? Because I can still work with that. Well, I mean, we're growing all the time, but... Thirteen million? Twelve? You're killing me here, Sam. You're killing me. I called you up because I need to reach people now. I mean, Trump needs to reach people now. And what Twitter, what Twitter have done, it's the worst, the worst, and the least democratic thing, and it's communism. I have to talk to the Proud Boys through Grinder now. It's just the worst. Have you ever tried to tell a dick pic that the election was stolen? It's very hard. Sometimes a dick pic too. You're very quiet, Sam. 11 million? 10? You're not telling me it's 10, are you? We've got a loyal core of maybe 250 listeners every week. 250,000? That's awful. You're like Arnold's season of The Apprentice. Just awful. The worst. You're a loser. You know that? But we don't have much choice, do we? Twitter, Big Tech, Antifa, and the radical left communist Democrats, they've taken away our platform. They've taken away our platform and they've killed free speech. And now I can only tell the truth to the American people, 250,000 people at a time. Yeah, we're, um, we're not talking thousands here, John. Oh. Oh, he's gone. Thank you.